Let's do the logs, or let's do logs. All right, let's try that again. Let's do logs on the TI-30X Pro. Let's say I want to do the log of five, base 525. Well, one way of doing that is the log of 25 divided by the log of 5. It's a rule, but you can see 5 on the bottom, 25 on the top, and there you go. So here, um, we got to look for the log. You can see in this key right here, it has natural log and log. If you press this button once, it gives you natural log. You press it again, it gives you the log. You, you type in 25, you can close it, then divide, then press the button twice for log 5. You can close it with the parentheses enter, and gives you two. <clears throat> A lot of steps, but feasible log of x, base x, 25 equals 2. The rule, uh, x to the 2 power equals 25. There's that rule, right, whatever it is, the log of a, b equals c, where a to the c is equal to b, right? Uh, might, might not be those same letters, but close enough. Here, you're going to take the square root on both sides. x equals the square root of 25. <clears throat> So the square root is right there, second, um, the x square button, and then you put 25, you enter, gives you 5. All right. So what about the log of base 10, x equals 2? Well, same thing. Uh, 10 squared equals x, and then x equals 10 squared, 10, right? And then squared. Enter, gives you 100, and I think we all knew the answer before. And then the anti-log, 10 to the 2.5. Okay, so you can see this button right here has two of them, e to the blank, 10 to the blank. You press it once, e to the blank. Then you press it twice, <laughs> it gives you 10 to the blank. Here we're going to put 2.5, you enter. And it gives you 316.227. Then 10 to the minus 1.5, same thing, right? You press this button twice. Um, you put the negative 1.5, you enter it, and it gives you 0 0.03162. Nice. Then 10 to the half power. So again, you can press this twice. Let's see if this works. You can put 1, the fraction button, 2, enter. Ah, and it gives you, um, in this case, the square root of 10, which is correct, by the way. And then we can press the approximation button, and it gives you uh, 3.1622. Um, it's the square root of 10 because this... Uh, Fraction, this 2 is the index of 2. So let's do the log of 8, right? So you press the log button over here, oops, twice, okay? And then you type in 8. You can close it if you like, and it gives you an answer of 0 0.9030. Uh, the log of 8 squared, well, this one... Um, 8 squared, so let's do, um, you might be able to do the whole thing, let's see, uh, you press that twice, you put an 8, and then you square it, and you close it, and then you press enter, gives you 1.806, which is the same thing as the log of 8, and the 2 goes down, so you multiply a log of 8 twice. So you take uh, log 8, and you could put the 2, I guess. Let's see, can we put the 2? No, that's clear. It's clear. We go go 2 times, press the log button twice, 8, close it, and it gives you the same answer. Okay, then the natural log of 8. Mm. So you press 
the long the long key type in eight close it enter you don't need to close it probably uh, 2.07994 this by the way the natural log is really the log of e to the eight okay what is e well if you press the e blank space you type a one it gives you 2.71828 and keeps on going so e to the negative 1.8 let's find out so you press the e uh, to the blank key then negative not subtract 1.8 enter and gives you 0 0.1652 okay that looks right and then lastly what about if you had the natural log of x equals 3 well, remember the na the natural log is really the log of e and then you have x equals 3 and then you have that rule e to the third right and e to the third is what well you press in e 3 gives you this long number 20.085536 and if you do this, the log of 20.085536 keeps on going, should give you an answer of 3, right? So if you press the log of the answer, previous answer, gives you 3. That makes sense. Okay, I hope that was interesting. Please give it a thumbs up. Please tell your friends. Um, I hope you have a great semester, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.